Hi guys, I actually forgot to record an intro with Dimitri, but in this video we're going to be working on jumping. Let's get into it. The first thing we worked on was pumping. Since Dimitri didn't have the timing right, he had nowhere near enough speed to clear the jump. In this slow-mo you can see he is pumping too late. We then did a few runs on timing the pump. After a few runs he was starting to get it. Now the main problem was going over the lip. What I can see he's doing is absorbing the lip. Because he's not keeping pressure down, his suspension is bucking him and making him go nose first. This is what a lot of beginner jumpers do because it can be scary to go over a lip. What I explained to him is to ride the lip like it's a piece of trail instead of trying to absorb it like it's an obstacle. Going up the lip, I don't let the bike come up to me, so that in the air it creates a nice arc instead of going flat. This does require a bit of confidence and trial and error, but makes a huge difference. Here you can see he started to ride up the lip instead of absorb it, which made a big difference on how far he went. The next piece of the puzzle was the drop. I could see he was struggling a little bit on it, so I took him to a harder one to get his skills up. So the roots may look intimidating from below, but from riding over them, even going slow like this, I barely noticed them. Here I taught him to pop off little drops like this and push the bike out in front of him when he's going off it. So what you can do, just do a run in and then stop before the drop, just to get your confidence. You can see that it's actually easy, but don't go too fast so that you slide off the edge. Nice. So now you know the root, the top bit yeah. that looked rooty is actually fine, but before you go over the drop, you want to gain a little bit of speed so you can pop the suspension and push the bike out in front of you. Weight back, going slow, and then you want to release about here. One question Dimitri had was where should he be looking when doing a jump? So, when I'm coming down here, yeah. I'm looking pretty much directly at the lip. Yeah. Like just lining it up, getting the timing right. Yeah. And then, once I can actually see the landing, which would be around this place here, yeah. then I'll be looking at the landing because I already know everything about the lip. Right. And then, yeah. And then once I'm about here, once I'm just yeah. about to go over the yeah. lip, then yeah, you jump a little bit. Yeah. And that's when I start looking ahead, making sure- Even further than the landing. clear. Yeah. Okay. Your mind already knows what's mm -hmm. there. It's just your, consciously still worried about it yeah. and need to make sure it's okay yeah. when it's yeah. not actually going to change. Going down here, looking at the lip, now landing, lip, landing ahead, now looking at the lip, then the landing, then ahead. Now that Dimitri has sussed out the basics, he was getting further and further every run. That was pretty good. Yeah, that was the furthest I've done. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> that, was, that looked like the biggest one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When I was following you then, yeah. I didn't actually like preload the lip at all, yeah. and I actually went quite nose heavy. Nice. 
For a good comparison, here's his first and last run filmed from the same spot. Thanks for watching guys, Dimitri improved a lot. He went from barely being able to jump to clearing the step up. By the way, I have an Instagram now, Spence underscore MTB on Instagram. Also, if you wanna listen, like Dimitri, my phone number will be in the description. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.